So in the previous video, I tasked you with the job of figuring out what should happen when the shark catches the fish. Um, and I think that there's a couple of things that, that probably should happen here. First of all, obviously we should get a point, right? Just like we did with the bananas. When you caught the bananas in the monkey game, you got a point. And then in the, in the monkey game, the bananas jumped back to the top of the screen and did something, right? Well, we want to do kind of the same thing here. We want to catch the fish, have the, get a point, have the fish disappear, and then reappear somewhere else on the screen so that I can continue to keep catching the fish and earning more and more points, right? So how would I do that? Well, let's see. I would go into data and make the score again, just like we did under the in the previous version. I do want to see this because I want the score visible. I'm going to go to the stage and say that when the green flag is pressed, I want to set the score to zero. I sh can look as whether the shark is catching the fish or the fish is catching the shark. Again, because the fish is what's going to change most in here, I'm going to look for the interaction with the fish. While this program is running, I want to ask the question that if this fish is touching the shark, so we'll put touching in here, Then I want to add a point, so change score by one. Then what I'd like to do is have the fish sort of disappear and then reappear. Um, and really what I'm looking at is sort of this block of code right here again, right? I want to be able to come to some random location. So just like I did with uh, the bananas, I copied that starting code and put him in there, right? So that would be the basics of this. Right? I can catch the fish and, ooh, I got a point, got a point. Got a point, right? And off we go. Well, you may notice a couple of weird things happening as you watch my game. You'll notice that sometimes, hey, he comes back right on top of where I am. And that's a particular problem. We don't want to, to, to do that. Uh, in particular, it's hard to tell if he comes back right where I, where I am. Sometimes the this, this score jumped by two points. I'm trying to see if I can make it happen again. 19, 20. Now that I'm trying to get it to happen, it's not going to happen. But earlier in this in this video, if we went back and watched it, I think one of the first times I caught him, um, there we go. It jumped two points because I caught him one right after the other. And so this works okay, but I, but I don't really like that. And so there's two things. Uh, there, there's a really easy way to sort of fix this. The idea would be I'm going to change the score by one, like I ate him, and then I want him to go away. But maybe the idea is not have him come back right away. So let's do this. I want to, when you're touching the shark, hide the fish, change the score by one, then what I want to do is maybe wait one second and then bring the fish back. So let's see here, show. Right. And that gives me a little better chance of having him actually disappear. I can actually detect the fact I got the fish. And then even if he comes back on top of me, I, re I recognize that that was just sort of a fluke, right? So I catch the fish, get my point, and then he comes back, right? Come on, let me catch you. There we go. See, he's moving around, and I'm getting one point, and he takes a little while. And rather than coming back maybe after one second, I might even choose to, to do this random. I might say anywhere from one second to, uh, I don't know, four seconds. And that way, it's, he doesn't always pop back the same time. Sometime I get him right away, right? And sometimes it takes him a little longer. That must have been a four seconds. And so he goes away, and sometimes he comes back right away. And maybe maybe four seconds is, is a little too much. Maybe we want to want to change it to three seconds, so he doesn't stay away quite so long. But we get a good good result there. Of course, now that we have that ready, we're ready to add in you know more than one fish, right? We can j really quickly now uh, make a game that has an aquarium full of fish, and so we want to be able to. Oh, what happened there? Right? Notice that now none of the fish are on the screen. Well, I purposefully screwed this up. Uh, the problem is that I didn't do my places everybody properly. When I do places everybody, I want the fish to show up in a random location, but he needs to actually show up. Here's what just happened right there. I was running the program, I hid the fish, and while it was in this hidden mode, I hit the stop sign. And so the previous game ended with the fish invisible, hidden. 
And so when I hit the start flag again, he's still invisible. And, and there's no way in this command for me to actually get him again. And so what I need to do uh, is to actually put a show in here. And I need to do this, unfortunately, for all fish. I screwed this up, obviously. Fortunately, that's an easy change. Right, so we're going to add show to this. So now when I run this program, now I've got a bunch of fish running around on the screen. And as I eat them, they disappear. And then they randomly come back later on in a different location. And of course, if you wanted to have some fun with this, you can make one fish fast and one fish slow. Right. That would be, though, another increment. 